Lawmakers took a step toward a mutual aid agreement between state and tribal law enforcement. Although North Dakota representatives passed House Bill 1126 by a vote of 82 to 10, some tribal citizens say they're not on the same page. And Renee Cooper joins us to break it all down. Renee. Hi, Lauren and Nicholas. I sat down with a couple of tribal elders and other citizens in the Turtle Mountains about state and tribal collaboration in law enforcement, and they're very hesitant. In the past, they've seen, quote, selective law enforcement and racial profiling from state officers. The state officers know when our check days are here. They low road the borders of our reservation. Without a thought, they take money off of a table that feeds a child here and puts it in their tribal coffers over there, their state coffers. On tribal lands, there's protection for enrolled members against this. By law, state police can't arrest or cite native people on their sovereign land. And although some existing agreements between state and tribal police give state officers this ability, House Bill 1126 would not. It didn't just come out of thin air. It also came from hearing uh, those stories from tribal police officers. Cultural liaison officer Jenna Clausen Hubrights with the North Dakota Highway Patrol was instrumental in drafting this bill. It would give tribal law enforcement the ability to be dispatched to assist state agencies immediately. They cannot enforce state law. Uh, they're not allowed to make arrests for state offenses. This is purely just for uh, mutual aid. And where this is heading is what concerns several tribal citizens. I work with the legislative people for 20 some years in this state litigating and negotiation with them. They don't spend money, time or effort without a solution that is beneficial to them. They are not a good friend to us. The legislature can't pass anything that gives state agencies any jurisdiction over tribal citizens. That has to come from an agreement with each tribal nation. An example of this is a mutual aid agreement in the works between Highway Patrol and MHA Nation. Tribal Council approved it last week. Now, it opens up for 30 days of public comment. This is like the bill just passed in the House, but state officers can also respond in reverse to calls involving tribal citizens. I raise the concerns of diminished sovereignty and arrests of an uneven number of tribal citizens that shows in our jails and prisons. That's completely understandable. She says she hopes the bill will serve as an olive branch by also giving tribal officers recognition as equally trained law enforcement under Century Code. Davis also mentioned that it's tough for his people to even testify at the legislature or during that public comment period I mentioned. There's the travel factor, but Lauren and Nicholas, even this year with remote testimony possible, he says many are too nervous of repercussions. He adds tribal elders such as himself should be asked up front for input. Renee Cooper reporting. Thank you. Keep it here.